hi guys i welcome you all back to this page today i bring you this delicious delicacy from delta nigeria worry urobo to precisely today i'll be sharing with you guys how i prepare this delicious egusi pepper soup also known as white melon soup you don't need oil in this soup so be, to begin with let's get started so these are my ingredients that is belletete or ehuru so you want to take out the skin of all the spices I just showed you and you're going to fry that for a few minutes and then go in with your egusi. So you're going to fry the both together until you notice that the egusi is fried. You can see the color is begun, has begun to change slowly. So you're going to fry, keep frying. Next, you want to blend your all the spices this is uh, pepper and uh, onions with the ehuru so you are going to blend that included with the egusi but you have to blend this particular one first before you blend the egusi separate so after that is done you want to add your pots with your meat or fish stock with whichever one you want to use i'll be using chicken stock because I will, I will be also adding chicken to the soup so what i just add to the soup now it's my mix the pepper onion and the the calabash nuts the uhuru. so you're going to cover the pot and allow that to simmer for a few minutes as you can see it has simmered now i'll go in i'll add some maggi to taste because i want to boil my fish so next i'll combine together if today is your first time coming across this page please do me well by subscribing to this channel thank you so next i'm going to add my fresh fish into my soup so allow the fish to sit properly into the soup next you want to cover the pot and allow the fish to cook for at least five to six minutes so cover the pot and allow it to cook so friends i would like to ask you to subscribe to this page and share this video thank you so this is our fish already now i'm going to be adding my blended egusi no, at first we'll first of all add the chicken after adding the chicken then we are going to add the egusi so keep watching so now you want to add the blended egusi you want to rinse the leftover in the blender and pour it inside the soup because you already have so much left inside so now you want to shake the pot because you don't want to stir the soup if you stir the soup you're going to crush all the chicken and fish so this is the soup after i covered it to boil for five to six minutes so go in gently with your spoon and just give the soup a little touch a little mix so that it will combine properly So at this point you want to add crayfish that is blended prawns but we do call it crayfish so add that and combine the soup together next you want to add your scent leaf this scent leaf is necessary in this soup it takes the soup to a different level it gives the soup a very 
delicious taste. So after adding the scent leaf, you allow the soup to cook for two to three minutes. Taste if you are satisfied with how the soup is tasting. If you want to put more seasoning like bouillon or salt, you are free to do that. But I didn't put at the end because I already put at the beginning. And don't forget, crayfish has salt. So this is the end result of the soup. How it's looking very beautiful. And indeed, it was delicious. So I served my egusi pepper soup with pounded yam. As you can see, the pounded yam is displayed in the pot. So I'm serving my soup. Thank you all for watching. And I'll see you on my next video. Don't forget to subscribe, share the video to your family and friends, and see you on my next video. Merry Christmas to you all and happy weekend. Bye.